vlog. So it is currently December 4th. It is 11.33 a.m. right now. Do you see Benji? He has a cone around his head and his foot is all bandaged up. This is so sad. He actually got a haircut and we do like this mobile groomer. We love her and Benji's like super wiggly when she grooms him and this one time she accidentally cut his paw and it was not good. So she wrapped it up and Benji kept taking it off. Like I had to rewrap it like three times. So I ended up going to the vet. They ended up wrapping it and gave him a cone so he doesn't like mess with it. Now he's on antibiotics and he has to wear that cone for two weeks and we have to go back there every three days to get it rewrapped. Poor Benji. I feel so bad and also it was so chaotic going to the vet with crew and Benji at the same time. I was like, this is a lot because it was time for crew's nap time. And I was like, okay, we need to get this done because this is bothering Benji a lot. So I just went and it was very chaotic. And then on the way back home, I had a screaming baby and Benji crying. So that was not very good because <laughs> Benji gets really anxious in the car. So he'll like squeal. So just the combo of crew crying and Benji squealing was just a combo. <laughs> He's doing a lot better right now. It looks so sad oh my god stop i can't it says spoil me be nice i'll be back and it says under construction i think it's the cutest thing but i feel so bad for him your haircut looks good though so yeah he's been getting some extra love lately i mean he always gets love but like i feel so bad i'm so freaking cozy today i'm wearing this cardigan this tank top and shorts and doesn't this just scream christmas i low-key might have to make other coffee because i scarfed this down oh also i do want to mention that reading your guys's comments in the last vlog was so refreshing at the end of my last vlog i was mentioning how um jayla and i kind of went through like the roommate phase and it was really refreshing like hearing other people's like stories and stuff about that and just knowing that you're not alone and I just felt really nice. Even though it sucks going through the roommate phase, I wouldn't like wish it upon a couple, but it was refreshing and nice to hear that we aren't the only ones going through something like that, if that makes sense. Also the cherry on top with Benji's leg, we have to put this thing around his leg every single time he needs to go outside because it cannot get wet. And if it gets wet a little bit, we have to bring him back to the vet to get it rewrapped. So I don't even know what this is, but they gave it to us. It looks like an IV bag, I don't even know, but yeah poor benji i also kind of organized the pantry i want to get more of these like little jars and like this thing these are all of crew's like puree pouches he has some pretty good stuff sweet potato mango carrot chickpea he has like a whole bunch of different stuff but that's another thing that i want to get into let me show you this is something that i don't understand and i think it's so sad i don't understand why these baby companies for like food and stuff have so many toxins and just like bad ingredients in them like i just don't get it first like three years of a child their brain development is so important and if they're eating like things that have metal in it that is not good for their brain development and like growth i just went down a whole rabbit hole this isn't sponsored i always get little spoon or i get cerebelli and those are two brands that don't have any metals or any bad stuff in it so the reason why i'm getting into this is because the other day I ran out of both of these. I have a subscription with them and his food didn't come yet and he ran out of food. So I went to the grocery store and I got these because I thought they were good. It said organic, the ingredients were good. And then I got home and I started going on Google. I saw this lawsuit about it having lead in it. And I'm like, why would they sell this stuff with it having that in it? Like, I just don't get it. I don't know. It made me so mad. It's just so annoying because other countries like ban this stuff. So it's just frustrating. I'm like, the US needs to get with it because it's like not okay. So we need to freaking boycott okay so i'm not having him eat these ones i ended up just making his purees because i was like he's not having any of that no thankfully one of my orders came in so he's gonna be eating good whoa i love this freaking brand and little spoon so if you're a parent and seeing this i recommend those too i have another little cute container so i'm gonna put these in here Okay, gorgeous. He's all stocked up. <laughs> also, I'm sorry if this stuff does not interest you. I'm just so shook about all this stuff having so much crap in it. I don't even want to look this up because he drinks this every single day. I don't even want to get into it because I think I will have a anxiety attack. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm suing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But also, it's Crew's half birthday, so we're going to celebrate. Got him this little half birthday hat. Got him his six 
month birthday candle for the TikTok. And then we got him this cake, which is literally perfect because it's like a piece of cake. So it's like half a cake because it's his half birthday, you know. Um, and we're going to add more sprinkles to it because I don't know why just half the cake has sprinkles. So we're going to like even it out. And we're most definitely going to sing him happy birthday. Okay. I wonder if he'll be scared when he sees the candles. But yeah, sorry. I just needed to rant to you guys because... I'm just so annoyed with that. I mean, I'm probably late to this. I don't know. I'm a first time mom, so I'm just, I'm still trying to get the groove of it. But it's just shocking to see how many bad things are in baby stuff. But I got new Brooke Linen sheets, so I want to put this in the washer so I can put this on our bed. Sheets that I have on right now are brick linen. I think I've literally had these same sheets since we moved in. I actually think I have a vlog of me putting this on our bed. I think these are like two years old, but they've held up amazing. I just think it's time, you know? Benji, you're making this a little difficult. We just need a little refresh and get cozy for the winter with new sheets. Right, Benji? <laughs> okay, time to put these bad boys on. It's so hot. Okay, gorgeous. Now I'm literally breaking a sweat. Whew. Usually Jalen does that, but he's at work right now, so it was all me. Like putting on a duvet cover, that makes me sweat. <laughs> if you guys don't know what Brooklinen is, it's a luxury sheet company and they make some really bomb stuff. They make high quality home goods to elevate your home. And that's the truth because I feel like my bed is giving off hotel vibes and that's what I'm going for. And also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but someone behind me loves Brooklinen. <laughs> Yeah, I cannot use anything else because Jalen and I are hot sleepers and these sheets have a cooling effect, which just makes me sleep so much better, especially since I'm still going through like my postpartum. So my hormones are, you know, cray cray and I just be getting hot flashes. I am constantly hot and humid. It's annoying. I learned that you spend one third of your life in bed so you definitely should upgrade your sheets and have the best of the best because one third of your life it's worth it instead of buying like individual items i highly recommend saving 20 percent on the hardcore bundle that's the one that we got and it comes with like everything one fitted sheet one flat sheet two pillowcases one duvet cover and two extra pillowcases it's beautiful we always get white sheets i know risky but they actually don't even get that dirty i wash them every week they also have limited edition seasonal colors or more classic colors you can mix and match over 20 plus colors and patterns which we got the white. Definitely check out Brooke Lenning. I will leave it down below just to get extra cozy and it's like the perfect gift for a family or friend. So with my link down below, you can get 15% off your first order. So definitely take advantage of that. And a little hack is I recommend getting the hardcore bundle because that'll save you 35% off instead of like getting individual items. So yeah, this is random, but I cannot wait until Cruz at the age where like he can just like sleep with us because right now he's too small and I just don't want to like risk it. I'm just personally not comfortable with uh, co-sleeping, but I know there's safe ways to do it. I want to have little slumber parties and little fun fact, I think I slept with my mom until I was like in third grade. I know. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but like sleeping in your parents' room was like way more fun and I probably was like cock blocking, but sorry. Is it mama's birthday? <laughs> He's like, he always sucks in his bottom lip, but it's my birthday. Oh. oh my birthday yeah <laughs> crew and jalen got me so many balloons oh my goodness well he picked them out and i just got them and then he put them oh, up i love it and guys look how much pink it is gorgeous and then we got all of this and then my parents dropped off all of this and she also made me chocolate chip cupcakes i literally have so many desserts and everything in here i'm going to explode your girl is 26 i'm closer to 30 now which is insane i still feel like a teen mom like i don't know what it is but i feel like i'm gonna be 40 and i'm gonna still feel like a teenager is that so cool say huh. 
Cool. So my mom originally was going to watch crew because Jalen's taking me out to dinner tonight, but my little brother ended up getting COVID. So my mom can't watch crew, but thankfully we have the nanny and she was available today. So we have her for a couple hours, which is amazing. We can still go out to dinner. So I'm going to get ready. I think I might be wearing heels tonight. Say that then. <laughs> Look at crew's handwriting. I know he spelled that perfectly. I see it. Mommy. Yeah, I see it. You did that. Yeah, he said that's for me, mommy. Oh. Nope. <laughs> I'm so bad at opening these cards. Just for you. Snip, snip, snip. I love you. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Not sure what that says, but I love you too. It, it came from the heart. So yeah. He, he had a lot to say. You happy up my life. Love you. Love you. Mwah. I can't wait until crew knows how to kiss back. First of all, packaging, 10 out of 10. I had to look at a tutorial to do this. <laughs> oh my it was gosh. supposed to look different, but I was Good like, Lord. it kind of looked like roses. So I was like, I'm gonna just whoop, whoop, two on each side and just let it ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, a foot massager. And I'm it, still gonna make and you it's rub a my heater feet. Too. My feet are always so cold and shout the amount out, of shout time. Out to the TikTok shop. Oh really? <laughs> the amount of times I asked Jalen to rub my feet Oh my god, I'm still gonna ask you. Yeah, see, but... look, it has three intensity levels, two timers, and a heater. Oh my god, love this. I'm using this tonight. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Of course. Guys, it is literally 3.37 p.m. right now, and it is this dark. I don't know if it gets this dark where you live. I feel like since we're in Washington, it gets way darker quicker than like other states. It's so annoying. And on top of that, we get so much rain and it's like cloudy, so it really pulls out the seasonal depression. That's for sure. Let's get some light in this room. <laughs> I'm not totally sure where Jalen's taking me to dinner. It's a surprise, but it's in Seattle. I opened up an Alani, a mini one, because I just needed a little bit. I don't know why, but there's like a little bit of formula on the top. Yum. Jalen just got crew down for his last nap of the day. I'm trying to be a little quiet because his room's like down the hallway. The dress that I was gonna order, it says it's out for delivery, but I don't know if it's gonna get here on time. I ordered two dresses. One says arriving today by 10 p.m. and then one says arriving today 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Well, 4 p.m. is coming up soon, so hopefully that one gets delivered. And then I wanted to wear this new jacket that I got from Zara yesterday. So cute, I love it. And then I was thinking of doing like a little updo with a red lip. I think that would be really cute. Which red lip does mommy wear? Which one? <gasps> he looked the other way. He said, mm, this one? Oh, okay, I wear that one. We're gonna be using Fashion Nova. The dress says four stops away. I'm cutting it really close, but I think it's gonna get here in time, so that's awesome. I think I'm gonna put a lipstick on and then use the gloss that Crew chose. <laughs> Okay, makeup's done. I love this red lip. I almost forgot I need to spray. I think we're only gonna be gone for like two, three hours. Does setting spray even work? I like can't tell. It feels amazing. Okay, I need to go do my hair and get dressed. Hopefully after my hair, the dress gets delivered because I don't have a backup. Perfect timing, look what came. I was gonna wear this dress, but I literally cannot breathe in it and you can see my underwear. Whew. I don't think this dress is gonna work out. It's super see-through and I don't have anything to wear under it. Okay, I decided to go with this dress and it has like a really pretty like V-neck almost. And then this jacket, I'm gonna wear these gold hoops. My nanny just got here, so perfect timing. I was debating on wearing like boots or I feel like these shoes give like birthday vibes. So I think I'm gonna wear this. Does it like go with the vibe? Not really, but it's okay. It's my birthday, there's no rules, okay? Okay, well I literally need to leave right now, but my intrusive thoughts, I feel like these pieces need to be shorter compared to the front ones. So I'm like, do I do it? The scissors are downstairs. I don't know. Oh my God, oh my God, did I just do that? I did not just do that. Like you use this for your face. That looks so much better. Let's go. Okay, we made it. We made it. What did I just say? You made it. It's called 
two Terezo Carmine. Yeah, they have really bomb food. I'm so excited. Ooh. And then this is going to be for your prawn tails. Okay. Yum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you, sir? Yes, please. Um, we got some bruschetta, but this has crab on top of it. And we have some bread right here. Yeah. Olive oil and herbs. Mm. And then you got this uh, this golf shrimp and with mushrooms and some like garlic sauce. Look at this pasta. I'm so excited. This is salmon with vodka cream sauce. Salem got this like ravioli. Cheers. Mmm. I like that. I like that. That is so good. Look how cute. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh my god, my voice cracked. Anyways. Alright, everybody. We're gonna sing Sarah happy birthday, so I need your help. Happy birthday to you. You better be singing as well. Cha -cha. We just got back home. Jalen's in his pajamas. He's all yeah, cozy. cozy. I'm gonna take my birthday picture because I haven't taken it today. And usually I'm like on top of it, but ever since becoming a mom, I'm like... I don't know. Different priorities. <laughs> Look how cute this cake is. Jalen got it for me and it is so pretty. The candles. I already blew out the candles already, but I lit them again so I could blow it out on camera with you guys. Do you want to blow them out with me? No, they're candles. Okay. This is your wish. You guys have uh, to make a wish you. with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're here. No, stop it. <laughs>